Warning, warning, warning. The following video you are about to see contains graphic content and lip smacking. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, no shame gang? Hey, bitch. It's your girl, unapologetically me, and tonight, guys, I am definitely, definitely, definitely back with another banger. Tonight, guys, I just got one of my faves, and it's good old tuna fish sandwiches and chips. Look at that. Thumbnail. <laughs> and plus, I just washed my hair because I'm getting ready to braid it for work next week. And the week after that. But anyway, guys, it's just something simple. I enjoyed me a good tuna fish sandwich, and I hope y'all do too. And also, I do have a little story time tonight. It's just, it ain't nothing major, but it's a story time. So, yeah, I got that. And then just some things I want to just talk about. So, um, pertaining to my channel. Okay, so uh, we got also got, y'all already know, the Big Zero Sugar Fresca on deck. And let's just jump off into this so we can get right off into this yummy goodness because your girl is hungry and I'm ready to eat. So let's go. We're going to go ahead and bow our head in prayer and we're going to get right off into this yummy goodness. Heavenly Father, thank you for the food that I'm about to receive. May it nourish and strengthen my body. Lord Jesus, I ask that you bless this food in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, and the Holy Spirit. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Y'all never mind the motorcycles out there. It really ain't a motorcycle, but you know, it's something like one. It's a small one. Let's get this drink. Let's get this drink poured up. And let's get off into this yummy goodness. I think I will just kind of like turn it this way. I can eat all this. I love me a good tuna fish sandwich. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all already know. I could eat one of these every day. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I never did tell y'all my results when I went to the doctor. Mm -hmm. Which was really good. My A1C, which is my blood sugar level, was 6.5. Last time I went, it was 6.7. So, I ain't got to go back for a whole year. Yay me. We're going to jump into our story time. And what I won't call this. Mm. 
this is just a story time like when I used to have my own place. And people will come over to get high. Mostly men, because I haven't really deal with a lot of females. And I went through phases. So, um, I wasn't really being with dope men, you know, or anybody to um, get money or drugs. I left that alone because I felt like it was really degrading. And I always kept my job, so I just felt like I wasn't doing it no more. And I didn't. So, mm, I'm adding bibs to my apparel this year. Because this happens all the time. So, Anyway, this is when I live next door to my sister, my baby sister. I used to let guys come over my house. Mm -mm -mm. I shouldn't get high. They already knew. Because I tell them right off the rip. Whatever you buy in my house, whatever kind of money you spend, whatever kind of dope you set out, that's on you. Don't expect no favors, because I ain't doing it. And if you sit in here, you do have to break me off. So, I was going through that then. I, I was just wasn't doing it no more. And especially not with no dude that I have. I wasn't doing it. I had really stopped doing it altogether. Even with dope men. So, This one dude, he came over. I didn't really know him. Know him. I didn't know him, know him. But he had came over with another guy friend of mine one time. They we were just all sitting around getting high. And I think he came with him about two times. Um, but that third time, he knocked on my door by himself. And I let him come on in because I, I had got kind of acquainted with him. He was cool. And he already knew the deal. You don't expect nothing from me because I'm not doing nothing. You sitting in my house. You got to break me off and I'm not... Ain't no, no sex thing that's out. So he already knew this. We started getting high. And everything was cool at first. Mm, I guess about the first hour. Because we were just sitting there. Wondering about my me and him. Then he got to looking at me funny. After we done been getting high about an hour. 
you know, so I'm looking at him like, I don't know. I, I wasn't even worried about it because I knew he was, you know, there wasn't shit going to happen. Now, who was I? So, um, oh, what's up, baby girl? I told him, what you mean, what's up? Uh, yeah, I already know, though, because I know you ain't even with it, though, is you? That's how he came with him. I said, what you talking about, doing something together or something like that? Uh, he was saying, yeah, I'm going to get some more stuff. I told him, uh-uh, no, I'm not. It ain't going down like that. So, he sat down, probably about a good 20, 30 more minutes. But I've already been over about an hour. And he was like, um, well, do you mind if I go get my little girlfriend? My little friend girl. And I was like, I don't care. I didn't, you know, because I got broke off. He left. Came back. About, I guess about 30 minutes to an hour later. with this white girl. I can already look at it and tell he went and picked her up off the street. What? So, I guess he thought I wasn't paying no attention when she was like, what's your name, what's your name again? I act like I ain't here, John. And I let them go upstairs. I had a little town um, upstairs, downstairs townhouse. So I had two bedrooms. They knew not to go in mine. But I didn't care as long as I was getting me something. And, you know, don't leave no mess in my room. Because at that time, I had no furniture in that second room. But make a long story short. I'm downstairs looking at TV, waiting on him to bring me some. And I noticed that he started doing me like it wasn't a lot like he was at first. I don't know, I was like, what? What is? What I'm supposed to do with this? Now oh, that's all I got for right now, but. Uh, I'm going to uh, get some more in a minute. Well, that minute was about an hour, so I knew he had some more. So y'all already know how this went. Oh, hell no! Mm-hmm. Out the door you go. I was constantly putting something out of my house. I sure was. My sister lived next door. She used to come with my baby sister. Girl, you put somebody out of your house every day. One dude came up there with his child. 
I will not have to get her. Mm-mm. And he ain't really have no money. I told him, you is not finna bring no child in my house. You know what we in here doing. He gonna get mad because I wouldn't let him in with his child. The child looked to be no about probably like about seven, seven year old little girl. And so he started calling me out, cussing me out, calling my house a crackhead house in front of all the neighbors. I didn't give a damn. Mm -hmm. And I was cussing his ass back out. He was like, I don't want to come up in that crackhead ass house no way. I said, but you did, though, and you want to bring your child. That's what makes it so bad. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I ended up putting him out, and it's the woman of the night that he was with. I let them go on about their business. I end up straightening up my house and probably just chilling for the rest of the night. But yeah, so he tried to play me, thought that the sun was going to change. Then came over there by himself, with uninvited, because he didn't even have my number. He came with my friend before. And he didn't come back no more either. So that was my story time. Now I'm gonna talk about my page. Because every now and then, I get somebody that gotta make a small comment. For the most part, I try to be respectful, but it's always that one person that got that smart mouth. I just want to say, y'all, I know very well what I'm doing. I know that this is a public platform. I know that I'm putting my business out here. This is a worldwide public uh, platform. I know this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh. Excuse me. People don't really know me, and I guess when I tell them, they just, I don't, probably don't believe me, but I really don't give a damn. I don't, I don't care about anybody knowing anything like this about me. If I did, I wouldn't be on here telling y'all this. And that's on a period. I never have cared about what people thought about me. You'll be unhappy your whole life trying to make somebody else happy. Message. So I just, I'm good. All the things that I'm talking about, yes, I did it. Am I ashamed of them? No. If I could go back, would I do it all over again? No. I probably have children and get married. And, or something like that. I don't know. But, um... I'm definitely not ashamed of anything, uh, any information I put out here about myself. I am not, uh, this is not about, uh, ooh, y'all, let me tell you what I did. This is stuff that I did, just telling y'all about me. My life ain't perfect and it ain't, no, oh, and it's been worse than it is now. But, um, uh, I don't have no problem with that. So when people feel like they want to come to me incorrectly, I don't got no problem straightening you right out. I really don't.
And you can't hurt my feelings. I don't care about the crackhead jokes. I don't care about none of that. You can't hurt my feelings. You can't hurt my feelings. I got accolades, baby. So I don't, if I cared about somebody talking about me or what they going to say or what they going to think, I wouldn't be on YouTube putting my business out there like that. Uh. Jesus Christ. So you can't hurt my feelings. You can make all the little sly, crackhead jokes uh, and all that kind of shit. Nobody cares about that. I damn sure don't. The name of this game is No Shame Gang. That means I-D-A, what? I-D-A-G-F. G-A-F. I don't. So, don't ever come on my page trying to talk slick to me because I, you want to be disrespectful, I can be just as disrespectful, and then it's going to get ugly. And I don't like to be like that. You know, I really don't. But don't, you know, just be respectful and I respect you. And if you got a problem with being respectful, hey, you can't hurt my feelings. You really can't. Nah, crackhead this, crackhead that. Honey, don't nobody give a fuck about that. I don't care about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how I feel about that. Yep, yep, I did it. Mm -hmm. Sure did. Mm -hmm. Yes, I sure did. What kind of skeletons you hiding in your closet? So, that's pretty much what I want to touch up on. So, when people start, you know, I only had a couple of people do that while I've been on, you know, discussing my business. Like, I, my feelings are not going to ever get hurt. I'm going to tell you that right now. I would not be on here doing this if... I was uh, wore my heart on my sleeve or uh, shallow minded. I would never do it, be on this platform. I know what could come out of this. I know people can be mean, but so can I. But I always try to really back in and make a positive out of a negative. You know, but some people you can't make a positive out of a negative. But, you know, guys, that's basically what I want to touch up on. We're going to keep it real over here, though. We're going to keep it real over here. Mm, you know, everybody always got something to say. Ain't no telling what they probably done done. They hiding it. But, uh, yeah, this is what we're doing over here. So, and it's my business. That's why I don't say no names because, I, you know, I, they ain't putting their story out there. I'm putting mine out there. So, that's how it's going to be. So, yeah, you know, I didn't really think of any stories, uh, think about anything that I wanted to talk about tonight, except for that one story when the guy, I met him through somebody else, popped up, you know, thinking, oh, we're going to whoop the woo and all that. No, we're not going to do none of that. Then when I then try to get a little prostitute, like, I don't know. Well, I know that. So anyway, make a long story short, uh, that was that story, and... You know, I really wish everyone would try to be respectful, but I know you have the right to your opinion, and I welcome those. But you can always be, you know, respectful. Don't be too nasty about it, because I don't want to be nasty, but I will go there. So, but I love you guys. So, with all that being said, we are on 24 Minutes. Uh, I just want to say that uh, this mug bank is officially over. I hope you enjoy watching me eat the food as much as I enjoy eating the food. It was definitely good. It was definitely a banger. For those, uh, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the food as much as I enjoy eating the food. It was definitely good. It was definitely a banger. Um, if you're watching and you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you. You guys know that I love you. Y'all know that. Uh, that's the highest compliment that anyone can give you. And that's on a period. 
And for those of you that um, are watching and you like the content but you have not yet subscribed, we ain't mad at you. But what are you waiting for? Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and turn on post notifications so you'll know every time I post a new video. 12 seconds later. I didn't get to give y'all my drink sounds. Let's, let me get a little drink in. Oh, that was so good. But yeah. Duh. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I had to come back and put that in, y'all. Let's go on and knock it on out. Good. And that was good. This shit real wrong. And with all that being said, guys, goodbye.